Good evening, Henry. How are you? Good evening, Daniel. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Very good. I'm, I'm ready for the class. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for joining the class on time and uh, for the positive attitude they always bring to the class. Tell me, how was your day? Good, good, good. Did you go to work? Yes, I go to work in San Salvador. Oh, you, but you don't live in San Salvador, right? No, I don't live in San Salvador. Where, where are you San from? Miguel, oh, San Miguel. So you came to San Salvador uh, today. Uh -huh. uh, I go to San Salvador to maintain the court. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, that's interesting. And and how much time um, or how long does it take you to travel from San Miguel to San Salvador? How long? How long does it take you? like to to travel from san salvador to san miguel or vice versa how long it means cuánto tiempo my friend oh more or less three hours that's a long trip right yeah three. that's a long 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 trip all right well Thank you for sharing that. All right. So, okay. I can see here now Edwin Esaú. Good evening, my friend. Good evening, teacher. All right. So, I can see also Henry. We missed you last night, Henry. How are you? I am fine. Yeah. Great. Excellent. How is the connection tonight? Mm, okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, good. So then I have Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hello. I'm fine, and you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking, and thank you for being here on thank time. You. Okay. All right. Okay, excellent. So now everybody, let's just start the class here. All right. And you know, I like to start the class with this activity. So because I like to promote your uh, pronunciation, right? And the pronunciation as well of the final sounds right here. So tonight we are going to be practicing with those two sounds. The sound in the sound here all right to see if you don't get confused and also we have this one right here so those are actually the sounds that we're going to be working with so this is going to be the following um tongue twister here which is i wish all right so it says like i wish to wish they wish you wish to wish but if you wish to wish the witch wishes i want wish the wish you wish to wish so basically wish the pronunciation it will be like this one wish like that that's the pronunciation wish no goo okay so no con he right it's not with g it's wish 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 all right and then uh, you go on the next one here which is which this one right here this one, which is going to be which, the pronunciation is which, like that, which, which, which. And then the bear, which is this one, wishes, it's going to be wishes, like that. All right, so wishes, wishes, all right. And then this contraction right here. It will be like want, like this. So that's the pronunciation of the words uh, that we need to practice right here. So it's going to be 
I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish. But if you wish to wish the witch wishes, I want to wish the wish you wish to wish. Easy. Yes or no, my friends. All right. So, uh, uh -huh. do I have any volunteers so we can start practicing? Vamos a ver ahora. It says here, Miguel Angel listening, David Custodio listener. Daniel can participate, Edwin can participate, Evelyn, Guillermo, and Karen can participate. So I have there five volunteers for participating. Who's going to be the first one? Mm -hmm. ¿Quién va a ser number one? Tell me. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yo, teacher. That's going to be Daniel, right? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, my friend. I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish, but if you wish to wish the wish wishes, I want wish the wish you wish to wish. To wish, no, wish. Repeat it, my friend. Wish. Wish, exactly, right? So, like that. So, at the beginning, it was good, but at the end, se nos olvidó el wish, y sonó como wish, all right? So, it's not the same. Listen. Wish. 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 Mm -hmm. wish. Exactly. So, I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish. Repeat it. I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you, right? Good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Daniel. You did it good. All right, so now let's see who is going to be the next one. The next one, the next one. Who's going to be the next one? Thank you, Evelyn. Please continue. Okay. I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish, but if you wish to wish the wish wishes, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. All right, great, excellent, thank you. That was easy for you, my friend. Good job, all right? So that was super, super, super easy, all right? Thank you, Evelyn, good job. All right, so let's see, next one, next one. So I have, I already have Evelyn and already have Daniel. Uh -huh. So what happens right here? Who else can help me with that one? Okay, hey, Ursula, good evening. Mr. Luna, also good evening. How are you guys? Really All right, excellent. You. I'm happy to see you online, Ursula. How do you feel today? Are you better? Yes, better. Thank you. Great, excellent. I hope to hear you participating more tonight. All right. Yes. Excellent. I, well, I you, try. you can start now if you <laughs> if you want. Yes. I All want. right. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish, but if you wish to wish the wish wishes, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. Exactly, right? So that was actually super nice. You did very good, all right? So you know what happens sometimes with this on Twister? It's that uh, la parte, like, not difficult, but sometimes what happens, it's like empezamos pronunciando, for example, en la, la wish here. Pero ya estos últimos terminamos diciendo wish, 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 all right? So don't forget that it's like wish, 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 all right? So thank you, and thank you, Ursula, for participating. Who else? Let's see. Mr. Pardo, good evening. All right, so let's see here. Uh, anybody else? Uh, Guillermo, Guillermo, Guillermo. Mr. Carlos Rivas. Yes, teacher. All right, excellent. Can you please try? And then Edwin. So, primero, like, uh, Guillermo and then Edwin, all right? Okay. I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish, but if you wish to wish the switch wishes, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. All right, excellent. Thank you very much, all right? So, let's see this one. Who's the next one? Edwin, right? Thank you, Guillermo. Good job. Right now, Edwin, your turn. I wish to wish the wish to wish to wish, but if you wish to wish the wish, the wishes, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. Excellent. Thank you very much. Right. That is an easy tongue twister, right? And you guys were doing a very good job. Excellent. So, 
Now, my friends, we are going to move to the next activity. Let's see. Did you do your homework about the checklist? Hello? Yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. So, well, because this is exactly what we're going to be practicing right now in our review. So, let's see. This is the review for tonight. All right. That one, exactly. All right, so yesterday or last night, I sent you that image, right, as a um, reference of the checklist, right, so you can do according to what you do in your job. Now, you are going to share that with the class right here, but how are you going to do that one? It's going to be very easy, all right? Let's see here. It's going to be on this one. One second. I'm going to share a link here to the chat so you can see it and also i will send it to the whatsapp group so you can actually click on whatever it's better for you uh let's see this one okay you can click on the link and then it's going to take you to this one mm -hmm. All right, so do you see the new screen? Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Yes. So please click on the link I send you and it's going to take you to this one. What are you going to do? So you basically you click on here, what it's when you can see this one right here. All right, so you click on that one and then it's going to uh, give you the chance you go on this one. All right. And then here, what it says, Asunto, you type your name. Your name, right? So, for example, it can be here, Daniel, or it can be here, Guillermo. All right. Or it can be here, Ursula. All right. Or it can be here, you know, um, Evelyn. Any name here, right? And then here... You are going to start um, typing the things that you have to do in your checklist. So, for example, number one, uh, I check my emails. Well, no, I, single I, perdón, solo el verbo. Check emails from the previous day. Check emails. Number two, you know... Prepare the coffee, I don't know. Who be, right? Important. Or it can be here um, to generate a report. You know, number four. I don't know, so it's just like, um, as you could see it here, it could be like, Turn on music, I don't know, turn on music, etc. right? So you are going to actually check this one right here, all right? And you can add those things that you do in your um, job right here, all right? So you go on this one, my friends, and then you click on enviar or send. When you click on this one, se va a colocar aquí en la pizarra o en la board, all right? You got it? Understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. excellent. So, thank you, Daniel. Exactly like that. Check the, the, the agents. You mean by agents agenda, Daniel? Yes, no sé si está bien. It's the same word in English and in Spanish. Agenda. Agenda. Mm -hmm. Go clients, visit clients, try to your job. All right, excellent. So, thank you. Thank you, everybody. So I get thank well the Daniel. All right. So what about the rest? All right. So we will work on this one. I'm waiting for everybody else. You can modify it there. Hmm? All right. Excellent. When you click on this one for you, Daniel, you will be able to modify it. When you click here, one of these options is going to be edit.
let's see it. Let's see it right now. The uh, uh, agenda is diary. Is uh, agenda diary? You wanna say? Sí. Sería daily agenda. So it's going to be like daily. Agenda. Ooh, you're so lie. What about the checklist? So let's see this one. All right, all right, so let's see here, someone else. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see here. Okay, let's see how you're doing. Hey, que pasó con dos? So, tengo dos people. I only have two. Okay, I have three now with Ursula as well here. Thank you. It's like a long checklist. Everybody has like four, where Ursula has like uh, the double, <laughs> right? A lot of things to do. All right, excellent. So, open the office, turn the lights on. All right, yeah, so we need to add here one word more, which is on. All right, so this one is agenda. All right, so turn on the AC, turn the laptop, turn on the laptop, take a coffee, super important. All right, check the schedule, check the mail, emails, and attend. Attend has double T. All right. There you go, excellent. There you go, there you go. Check the emails, visit clients, talk to the clients, write a report. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Very good. What about the rest? Mm -hmm. Let's see here. So let's see here.
Okay, let's see this one. And what about the rest, people? Yo tengo tres. Y let's see here. For example, I'm just wondering where is Carlos, Edwin, Evelyn, Henry, Catherine, Maritza, uh, Sonia, for example. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello. ¿Será que a mí también me falla el Inter y no me escuchan los demás? ¿O qué está pasando? Porque eh, oyentes ya están ahí reportados. Los que no pueden también ya me escribieron y los demás están trabajando en la lista o what happens. Yes, ah, ok. Thank you. One second. Ok, no problem. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Jill, all right, Jill. So you send it here through WhatsApp. All right, so I have a coffee and breakfast. That's a super important part of the job, right? Review a list of clients and follow up to write. Uh, then a message, oh, write them a message or call them. Um, I send my sales projection for the day, review the documentation pending delivery, all right, to the credit and license plate department. Interesting, all right, so like that. Thank you very much. I also have here a Jill's agenda, right? What about the rest? I'm still waiting for that one. So now I have Edwin. Thank you, Edwin. And I have Maritza. So I got six people participating. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it, right? So let's see this one right here. Yeah. Edwin says, open the store, make a meeting. So this one right here, it's going to be instead of make. So we can have here have. Well, not really. Actually, attend. It will be attend. So like this one, attend. Okay. That's the correct word, after the meeting, all right? Attending clients, that wouldn't be the correct one right here, all right? So because attend in English means como asistir, pero like a, a un lugar, de ir, all right? And then um, la palabra ayudar, like would be like help customers, podría ser help or assist. All right. Thank you. Take care of the administrative administrative um, area, I will say. Because nos estamos con el administrativo, nos queda como incomplete. All right. And then close the store. 
clean my workbooks in my workspace, check the emails, review reports from the previous day, review invoices, thank you. Catherine says like inventory controls or inventory, call clients, customer support, all right? So, mm, okay, excellent. So, vamos a trabajar in this one right here. Veamos, Catherine, ¿cuál sería la acción acá? Porque dice inventory control. Sería control de, controlar el inventario o chequear el inventario o revisar el inventario. ¿Cuál sería el verbo ahí? Para ayudarle, ajá. Evelyn? Oh, Catherine, sorry. Mm -hmm. Well, in the meantime, you let me know. Evelyn says, like, turn on the lights. Okay, lower the chair from the machine. All right. Clean the machine and sweep the floor. At lunch time, turn off the machine. Before finishing the work, they sweep the work area. Put the chairs on the machine, turn off the machine, turn off the lights. Excellent, right? So, algo que sí quiero que ustedes tomen en cuenta here, so you can pay attention, it's like todas las actividades empiezan con verbs, all right? Open, turn, turn, clean, turn on. Eh, aquí dijimos que era have a coffee, right? So, check, check, attend meetings. Very good. Eh, lo mismo acá, so this one, this one, this one. Aquí tenemos this one, el verbo incorrecto, lo corregimos. We were saying here, take care of and close. Clean, check, review, review. Very good. Y los verbos, ajá, ajá, to do. At lunchtime, turn off. All right. Off the double F. All right. Excellent. So, hey, what happens? All right. Excellent. All right. Entonces, ahí, hey, creo que era el de uh, Catherine, right? So, remember, it's just about like, it's like, they have verbs. Tienen que ir con verbos, right? Porque no se dice... For example, yo hago esto, sino que es simplemente la acción. Estamos hablando de la acción, right? Encender las luces, limpiar, revisar correos, eh, hablar con los clientes, visitar los clientes, etc. Right? Entonces debe siempre estar en infinitivo. All right, so, eh, so we can actually check, right, if I do it or not. All right? Thank you. Thank you very much for sharing this one. Hey, do you have questions about this activity or about like the checklist in general? Yes, yes, yes. No Any questions? Okay, cool. So we can continue now here. Let's just clean this screen. And let's see here. Well, thank you, everybody, for participating in this one. All right. Sus apuntes me quedan a mí ahí. All right. Let's just go back on this one. All right. So thank you. Everybody, that's actually what we were going to do here. So let's go with the activity number one. All right, so activity number one. Well, we have two questions, two questions that we need to practice, right? Uh, the question number one, remember right here that the questions are in this way. So this is question number one, and this is question number two. All right, so if you wanna check it like this one, so we can say question one and question two. Okay, so, and then we go for question number one. Hey. Who can help me to read the question number one? Just reading, please. What is your daily schedules like at work? Thank you very much. All right. So when it says right here, what is your daily schedule? All right. So like this one, daily, which it means daily people. Remember what is daily? Yes. Diario. O diario o diario de like todos los días, right? All right, para que no se confunda ahí. All right, so it's daily, like the diario, de todos los días. Very good. And what is the schedule? Uh -huh. ¿Ah? Cronograma. Could be like that one, or we can say like horario nada más. All right, so. Uh -huh. uh, and then you go like this one. Entonces, like this question, basically, what is your daily schedule like at work? It's basically, what are the activities that you do? All right, so you're going to talk about this one, all right? And vamos a ver, like, ya les voy a enseñar cómo se responde la question number one right here, all right? So, the question number one, the examples can be this one right here. Take a look. He preparado este example, so you can see it, right? So you can get this one, all right? Así que si alguien puede tomar the screenshots, you can take the screenshot and send it to the group, so les voy a agradecer. 
All right, so with activity number one, tenemos the question number one example, right? It says here, my daily schedule at work usually starts with arriving at the office at 9 a.m. After getting settled in and checking any urgent emails, I typically have a team meeting at 9.30 a.m. to discuss our priorities for the day. From 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m., I focus on completing any pending task and responding to important emails. Y tenemos los puntos suspensivos because to give the reference that you need to continue with that, okay? So, let's see. Vamos a ver. Uh, can somebody help me to read this example? Who can help me with the example? Uh -huh. Let's see, let's see. Thank you, Sonia and Evelyn. All right. And this is Mr. I forgot your last name, sir. Mr. Custodio. Yes, thank you for sending the questions. Uh -huh. Who can help me to read, people? Yes, yes, yes. Read, teacher. Yes, just reading. Okay. My daily schedule at work usually start with a read. Arriving at the office at 9 a.m. after getting settled, 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 in a check, settled, 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 settled in a, in a checking any urgent email. I typical, typically have a team meeting at 9.30 a.m. to discuss this discuss 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 our priorities for the day from 10 a.m. at 11 30 a.m. I focus on completing any pending task and responding to important emails. Okay, great, excellent. Thank you, my friend. I truly appreciate it. That was actually good. Let's just review here the pronunciation of some of the words that you were reading right here, like the one that is this one, all right? So, settle, everybody, settle. Settle. Excellent. Settle. And what's the meaning of settle, people? Uh-huh. What's the meaning of settle? Yes. What's the meaning of settle? An idea? It's como algo establecido. Uh -huh, exactly. See, if you want to actually say it like that, you can go and say like establecido, right? Of course. But remember, que la podemos ver settle in, que sería un phrasal verb. All right? So, que sería como asentado en, all right? Pero en ese caso, it's just like una vez que ya yo digo, yo me acomodo, if you want to say it like that. Understand? Yes. Okay. Porque sería, like, as you can see, this one, no solamente cero, sino que cero, in. All right. It says, and also, I would like to know if you get, like, oh, the pronunciation. Urgent. Urgent. That this urgent. is, like, if you have a letter O. Urgent. All right. Like that. Uh, I typically have team meeting. All right. Discuss. Pronounce it. Discuss. Discuss. Exactly, thank you. And then priorities, repeat it. Priorities. All right, excellent. So, la R acá suena, obviamente, como la R en inglés, like re, priority. Y esto de acá suena como una R en español, esta T. All right, eso sería priorities. Repeat it. Priorities. Exactly, like that. Good job, All right? Then focus on completing any important tasks, responding to important emails, and so on. All right. Thank you, my friend. This is an example. And this is like um, what I wanted to tell me, people, in the activity number one is que me respondan a question de esta forma. All right. So, eh, dándome un poquito más de detalles, like the, about what you do. All right. So, then on this one, we are going to continue here porque tenemos otra question here in the activity number one. And the question is this one. All right, who can help me to read the question number two? All right, just reading, question number two. Mm 
who's in charge of organizing the traffic schedule in your company? In the company. All right. Thank you very much. All right. So, in charge. What's the meaning of the uh, phrase verb in charge? In charge of. Sería ahí. Mm -hmm. In charge of. Ah, exactly, right? So, in charge of, which it could be a cargo de. A cargo de o responsable. There you go. Excellent. So, that's actually what it means. A cargo de o responsable de. All right. So, organizing staff schedules. All right. What is staff? What is the word staff, my friends? Exactly, all right. Staff and schedules in your company, all right. Y tengo también otro example here for that question, all right. So you will see. It. It's very easy, all right. So that's the one, that's the two, all right. So it says, in, in our company, the human resources, human resources, usted lo puede decir así perfectamente, human resources, or you can say only HR, right? So in our company, human resources, or in our company, HR department is responsible for organizing the staff schedules, right? Y dice ahí que eh, nuestra compañía, los de recursos humanos, el departamento de recursos humanos es el responsable de organizar nuestra, nuestros horarios del personal, right? For example, puede ser que ahí sea su jefe, puede ser que sea su supervisor, etc. Right? So basically, pueden tomar este example. Like also, you can take a screenshot and send it to the group. Para que les quede ahí, you can actually use it como una base um, to provide your own answer. So what are you going to do? You guys are going to answer question number one and two. Ya tienen los ejemplos ahí. And let's just work with this activity in the breakout rooms, all right? Questions about the activity, my friends? Yes, yes, yes. No, teacher. Okay, excellent. Veamos cómo estamos aquí, all right? So, Daniel, Catherine, and Ursula, you can participate, right? Yes, yes. teacher. Great, excellent. So, Mr. Luna says, listen here, Guillermo, are you active? Yes, it's true. Thank you very much. All right. So, ay, miren, a participar se salieron uno. Ya vamos a ver quién fue. All right. So, let's see, let's see. Y Yvonne, this is a listener. Evelyn Yamilet, si está activa, right? Yes, it's true. Thank you. All right. So, Maritza and Sonia. Yes, it's true. That was who? Cool. Yes, it's true. Okay, las dos. All right. Excellent. Henry, ya se pasó oyente. Mr. Pardo, Eduardo, oyente. David, oyente. Veamos. Uh -huh. Mr. Carlos Rivas en Edwin Esaú. Hello. Yes, teacher. teacher. Los dos, ok. Teacher me dijo algo. Excuse me. Teacher me dijo algo. Es que se oye bien cortado por la inestabilidad. Is this Eduardo? Oh no, I was saying like Eduardo está de oyente, I said. All right. There you go. So let's see here. All right, give me a second. Listener, Evelyn, Guillermo. Okay, perfect. All right, everybody. So the groups have been organized. Let's see here. Please accept the invitation. There you have it.
Please continue. Thank you. Right. Let me join the first one. Creo que sí. Creo que es individual. Okay, okay. Partir. Uh -huh. I will be here for a moment. If you have questions, let me know, okay? If you need my help to see how do you pronounce or say something or how can you write something, let me know, okay? I'm here to help you. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. The questions. No questions. Okay, let's see. I will go to a different group. If you have questions, you can call me, okay?
Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Start work at seven a.m. The lunch time at twelve. Twelve with what? What are you trying to say? Uh, excuse me. decir, my friend? Escuché que dijo seven with quarter, algo así. Eso es correcto. Yes. Okay, excellent. So, fíjese que uh -huh. en inglés para decir las siete y cuarto. Se puede decir de dos formas. La más fácil es 7.15. Right? Y luego dice, por ejemplo, 7 de la mañana, de la ley. So, 7.15 a.m. La otra sería a quarter. A quarter. Past seven. Ajá. Past seven. All right? So, okay. y ambas son correctas, right? Pero la más fácil es the first one. Ahí es la que usted quiera utilizar, pero una de esas dos. Okay, teacher. Teacher, I, I have a question with, yeah. with that. Um, tuve así como un book mental respecto a lo de las horas. Ajá. Eh, por, por ejemplo, cuando uno quiere decir que son como las siete con dos minutos, uh -huh. ¿cómo lo diría? Perdona. Seven two. Seven two. Uh -huh. Seven two p.m., seven five p.m., seven eight p.m., like that one. Right. So oh, you can okay. also say, for example, it's two past seven or it's three past seven. Aunque casi siempre es más común decirlas de cinco en cinco, you know? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? No, only that. Okay, great. The question number two. Yeah. Who is in charge of organizing of that? Mm -hmm. Is my supervisor? Okay, so you can use the example and say, um, in our company, the supervisor is responsible for organizing staff. Okay, in my company, uh -huh. in my co in my company, the ¿Cómo dice? Like this one. Let me check it out right here. Let me share the screen so you can see it. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Veamos. Yes, you can see it there right now. Okay. So you are going to say basically the same. You only change this one. Not this one. Not this one. Not this one. Not this one. Oops. Okay. And not this one. It is como like in or company. My supervisor is responsible for organizing 
staff sketches. And that's it. Teacher, and it is correct to say in our company the the workforce department is responsible for organizing the staff schedule. Yes, it is correct. Right. Okay. So that's how you're calling in a call center, actually. Yes. Are you working in a call center? That's right. Oh, okay. It's like a bilingual English or Spanish call center. And it's trilingual. And Spanish, English, and Portuguese. Oh, so you speak Portuguese? And in the, and in the past, we have also uh, German. Then. Mm -hmm. That sounds like tennis because we, or uh, Avianca. <laughs> no, it was Avianca. Avianca, right? So yes, I knew it. All right. So, in in do you do you take calls in English? Uh, no, not yet. No yet. But I I want to to try. Okay, great, excellent. So it will be a great experience, and of course, you can have access to a better salary. Yeah. Okay, great, awesome, 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 awesome. If you need some help with that area, let me know so I have some vocabulary that can help you. All right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, I will go to a different room to see how they are doing. If you need help or if you have more questions, call me so I can come back, all right? Okay. So, Sonia, what happens? Who were you participating with? Hello? I love to share. Usted que no estaba con alguien más, Sonia, what happens? Con, con Maritza. Mm, yeah, se cree que se salió. And then returned. Vamos a ver si ya regresa. Ah, sí, se salió, pero ella me dijo, ya había contestado, estaba contestando sus preguntas y estaba contestando. Ok, ok, ok. Very good. So, let's see here. Thank you. All right. So maybe let's see if they actually are um, working. So I will just go to a different room right now and I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Okay. For sure. Hello, my favorite group of listeners. Are you done? Hello, teacher. Hey, Edwin. What happens with um, Carlos? Mm, listen, there. Everyone is a listener. <laughs> oh, really? Let me rename then Carlos because Carlos says like he could participate. Okay. Then you go like this one. Bueno, my friend, you finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. So perhaps you can actually 
um, help someone in the room number one para que se queden aquí sobre los listeners, you know, listening to something. <laughs> All right, so. Hello, my team number one. So, did you finish already? Yeah, teacher. Yeah. Well, somebody said almost. Right? <laughs> like, so, did you finish? Yes or no? Um, Daniel finished. I almost. I almost. Oh, okay, excellent. So, Edwin, which is in the group. Yeah. Uh, also finished. Yes, so if you need help, you can share the ideas. So for example, Daniel, you can start sharing your answer here. Antes de pasar al grupo principal, all right? Para ver en qué estamos, cómo estamos. Okay, teacher. All right, tell me. Uh, or Edwin, I don't know. Maybe one of you can share the answer. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Uh, personally, in my job, my boss and and I am organized the stuff schedule. 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 Yeah. Sorry. No problem. And my my schedule is fight and I rest one day a week and plus one Sunday every 50 days. Okay, 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 very good. All right, that's like the question number two, right? Or the first one? Las dos. Ah, uh, but that's a very short answer. So, I, in la primera, que, like, you need more details, right? So, proporcionar más detalles, right? Like, what do you do? Como prácticamente describirme tu checklist, basically. Sure. Tell me. How do you say supervisor técnico? Excuse me? Supervisor técnico. That would be like technical supervisor. Technical supervisor. Yes, I'm going to write it. I mean, I'm going to type it right now. One sec. Okay. Supervisor. There you go. It's here. Did you see it? Yes, 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 thank you. All right, excellent. Um, I'm with the first question. Excuse me? No. Uh, I finished the first question. Okay, excellent. <laughs> the second question is very easy, right? It's very short, actually. Yes. Okay, excellent. So then I'm going to close right now the rooms. En eso termina usted su question. Y después you can help me with being a volunteer, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So let's return to the main station right now.
Okay, I'm just waiting for everybody else to return. Sort of team. Okay, everybody, welcome back to the main session, right? So we are here to listen to your answers, right? And see how you guys are doing. So let's see, let me share here the questions so you can see them right now. Okay, let me see if you can see here the screen. There you go, excellent. Okay, I need three different volunteers who can give me their examples for the question number one. Question number one, who's my first volunteer? Question number one. Mm -hmm. Three volunteers, question number one, who is it? Me, teacher. Okay, Ursula, please tell me, uh, what is your daily schedule like at work? Okay, my daily schedule at work usually starts with arriving at the office around 7 3 a.m. I usually turn on the light and the AC. After that, I clean my desk and I have a cup of coffee. Then I turn on my laptop. I start to review and responding to important emails around, around 8 a.m. Afterward, I prepare some reports to my boss and in the afternoon, afternoon typically attend some meetings in order to review the all of the pending tasks. That's all right, it. excellent. Thank you very much. All right, that's that's it. Right, I really like how you organize the ideas and how you were explaining every detail little by little. All right, so I, I really appreciate that one. So you did a good job, Esteli. Uh, so nice fluency and nice grammar as well. Thank you. That was good. All right. Uh, anybody else? Another volunteer? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. My daily schedule. Uh huh. Your daily schedule. You did arrive at seven forty-five a.m. Then we have a meeting at eight a.m. 8 a.m. and then call client to visit the town and point check list to install air equipment and finally return to job at 4 30 p.m. The share of organizing staff is the personal to attend client. We are the responsible the to schedule and my company. Okay, great, excellent. Thank you, Daniel. That was a very nice job, right? So I just want you want to help you correcting some words pronunciation, like the first one. So for example, repeat with me, Daniel. Arrive. Repeat it. Arrive. Very good. Arrive. Excellent. Arrive. Then this actually la palabra equipo. Equipment. Repeat it. Equipment. Equipment. All right. Exactly. Equipment. Then la siguiente instalar. Install. Installed. Exactly. Installed. Right. Those are the three yeah. words that you needed to Thank practice you. with the pronunciation, but you're doing good now. Thank you for participating, Daniel. All right. So let's see. One more. One more, and we finished with this one. All right. Who's gonna be the next one? Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 Who's my volunteer? With my volunteer. Sonia. Hello, Sonia. Number one, teacher. Yes, ma'am. Hello, teacher. Okay. My daily schedule at work. I generally arrive at the office at 8, 8 a.m., turn on my computer, and answer all the emails I receive at uh, 10 a.m. I have my breakfast and 
I stay away the task of the day until 1 p.m. when my lunch or begin at 2 p.m. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, Sonia, for sharing your uh, agenda, right? So that was good. Let me correct as well three words right here. The first one, the same as Danny, right? Arrive. Repeat it. Arrive. Very good. Excellent. El Arrive. Numero, el número ocho, which is going to be eight. Repeat it. Eight. 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 There you go. Exactly, right? So, and then, cuando decimos AM, we said AM. AM. Exactly, right? Thank you very much, my friend. You are doing a very good job as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, we are going to go with the question number um, number two, right? Vamos a ver. So, my class of listeners. Vamos a ver aquí, my class of listeners. Vamos a ver que no está de listener esta noche, right? So, well, we have Daniel que ha participated, eh, Edwin, Evelyn, Guillermo, eh, Catherine, y Maritza. So, I have five. Caballo five que andamos buscando, right? So, uh -huh. Okay, Let's teacher. See. That's Guillermo, right? Yes. All right, tell me, who is in charge of organizing staff schedules in your company? Well, in, in my case, in my company, the workforce department is in charge of organizing the staff schedules. Okay, great. Excellent. So, workforce department, it's another name to say, um, well, it's not Recursos Humanos, it's just exclusivamente para schedules, right? Yes. All right, excellent. Are you part of the workforce department? No. No, are you an agent or management? I am a, an agent. An agent, all right, great, excellent. So, thank you, Guillermo, for participating. Nice answer, all right? So, veamos now. Eh, Edwin, Evelyn, Catherine, Maritza, Noé. In my company, the human resources department is in charge of organizing that okay, excellent. Thank you, right? So the same as the example I gave before. So good job uh, using that example, right? So thank you. And uh, next one, next one. Me teacher. Thank you, Noe. Please continue. In my in my case, the, the workshop in my de department are already established by the company as okay. fixed uh, Schedule. All right, schedule. All right, so thank you. Thank you, thank you. I really like it. Thank you for participating, right? Uh -huh. We're missing one more. Veamos. Next one. Who is it? Edwin, Edwin. In my company, the human resource is in, in charge the of organizing the schedule mm -hmm. okay excellent thank you very much for participating right so you guys were doing a very good job so i congratulate you for that okay excellent thank you now everybody we are going to continue here with the next activity the next activity it's the number two all right so for this activity exactly the one you can see right now the activity number two, it's a conversation that we are going to practice by pronouncing um, and checking how you guys can express those things right here. So instruction, it says, take turns practicing this conversation with a classmate. Who can help me to read only the instruction? Who can help me to read just the instruction? Uh -huh. Take turns practicing this this conversation with the classmates. Hmm, thank you. All right. Now I'm going to read the um, conversation for you. Okay. Let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys at the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. 
you have to be back at 1 p.m. So you so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Easy, easy, easy. All right. So that's what you're going to be practicing right here. Before I send you to the um, breakout rooms to practice. All right. So let's just check this one. Do you have questions about vocabulary here? Yes. Questions? No questions? Uh, no co covering, covering. Um, covering. Covering. Right. So, viene de cubrir. All right. Como cubrir, como una cobertura en el trabajo. All right. Okay. Okay, DJ. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? Okay. Hostess. Hostess, it's the person who receives the customers, right? So, for example, eh, have you ever had the opportunity to go to Pollo Campero or Pizza Hut? Yes or no? Yes. When you go to Pollo Campero, when you go to Pizza Hut, siempre hay alguien que les recibe en entrada y les dice, ¿para cuántas personas? ¿A nombre de qué? Familia, fulanito, etc. Right? So, that's the hostess, como el anfitrión, we call it. Any other questions? Can we continue with the next activity? Yes, we can. Okay, excellent. Dice que de acuerdo al libro, according to the book, all right, so la, la activity number three is esta que ustedes van a ver a continuación. Pero la vamos a saltar porque en realidad debería ir la activity number four que tiene relación con el diálogo. Así que vamos a hacer activity number two and number four right now. All right. So, eh, and this is going to be very simple. So, it's going to be just like this. We're going to answer, answer the three questions. You know, it says discuss these questions with the partner, right? So, vamos a hacer two activities in one. All right. So, the first one is going to be discuss the questions with the partner. I mean, practice the conversation, role play the conversation there, and then to answer the questions. And that's all. All right. So let's see here. Um, let me try to send. Can someone take the screenshot of the conversation and the last activity and send it to the group, please? Okay. It's the screenshot sent. Not yet. Thank you, Gustavo. I'm going to send right now the, the last activity so you can have there and there. All right, excellent. It's there already. So, veamos. We will have to organize the breakout rooms Again, all right. So for that one, let me just review something here quickly. I am I am going to continue where I'm going to reorganize the breakout rooms because me quedaron, uno me quedó the puros listeners, right? So we're going to recreate this one again. Veamos, recreate rooms. So we have here this one. Veamos, this room number one, Noé Gustavo Núñez y Sonia Esmeralda. Are you active, guys? Yes, yes, teacher. Ah, great, excellent. Mm -hmm. Noel and Sonia are going to participate. Um, Guillermo, Guillermo and Ursula. Okay, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, excellent. 
Uh, one second. Move this one, and I'm going to move this one to number two. Okay, then um, Daniel and uh, with this one right here. Espérame, Daniel, que andamos buscando a alguien que esté active. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Evelyn, are you active? Yes, teacher. Okay, so it's going to be here with you. All right, Edwin and Catherine. Asumo que Edwin and Catherine say yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, Catherine in Edwin. Hay problemas con el micrófono, pero yes, I saw the intention. All right, so yes. thank you. Veamos. Maritza, hello Maritza. Hello, yes. Vamos a ver aquí con quién, Maritza, porque ya no tenemos, solo listeners. All right, so okay. we'll see. Eh, 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 eh. Mm -hmm. Teacher. I'm getting yes. home. You can include me. Okay, great. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Luna, right? Thank, thank you. All right. So let's see here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Entonces, you're going to be seven. Okay, excellent. So, well, I organized the breakout rooms again uh, so you can participate and, um, you know, have a great um, opportunity to practice the dialogue and to answer the questions, okay? So, uh, well, let's continue, everybody. Let's see what happens from here. If you have questions, let me know, all right? Okay, let's see. That's fine. Okay, hosted today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve it for the rest of the of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Okay, let's change. Okay. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start Covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11, to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. So that you, you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Reminder. Reminder, correct. All right. Okay. So, do you need help with the pronunciation of uh, any word? Yes. Hostess. 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 Okay. Correct. Thank you. All right. Anything else? Uh, mm, just that. Just that. Okay. Excellent. So, remember that the one at the end, it says reminder. Repeat it. Reminder. All right. Continue. 
Okay. When does Jenny's chief start? Yeah. It starts at nine nine a.m. What happened? In the fourth, number four. Ah, lyrics number four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is Jenny's job in the restaurant? Mm. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And right. what does Jenny have to do from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m.? Cabal. Jenny's, o sea, sería Jenny's has Jenny to start has for him. To start at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. Jenny's should start. Déjeme comprobar algo. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Shift start. Aha. Is aha. Si sería, let me see. <laughs> what the answer is when does when does Janice shift start? Mm. One second. Um, I think the answer is it starts. It starts. It it starts at nine a.m. As you said, así como usted lo dijo, a las nueve de la mañana. ¿Qué es lo primero que va a hacer? Mm -hmm. okay. Now the second question. Second question. What is Janice's job in the restaurant? Mm. Mm. I think I think she is a server. Uh, in the restaurant. Yes. Server. Yes. Server or waitress. Mm -hmm. I would say it's a hostess. Uh, hostess. Mm -hmm. Ah, hostess. Uh -huh. um, but but the hostess because Gladys. It's not there. Because it's covering Gladys. <laughs> yes, but the, the, the Jenny's job, yeah, I think it's served because it, you can serve for the rest of the afternoon. I don't oh, know. All right. Oh, my goodness. Nuria, that, was really <laughs> it's the lead. that was actually super good, right? Analyzing oh, the whole part. Right. So you know oh. she, she is reading between lines, right? <laughs> okay, you're oh, right. You're right, Ursula. She's a, a, server. a server or or waitress. I don't know. The same, all right. It's the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's a server. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um well thank, sir. thank you for the answer. Um Ursula. I will go to a different room. 
Okay. okay. Thank you, you need, teacher. If you need help, just let me know, all right? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, Ursula, number three. What does Jenny have to do? Hello. Number two. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you doing? Do you have questions? Uh, uh, number two. What is Jenny job in the restaurant? Um, uh -huh. um, the, the hostess. Uh, how do you pronounce host, hostess? Hostess. Host, hostess. Correct. Um, and It would be a server because remember that she is. Uh, she is, let's say, she's going to be a hostess because she's covering, I guess, Gladys, it says, right? Yes. Remember that yeah. the, the one covering uh, is Jenny. All right. So uh, okay. the, question, the question says, okay. what is uh, Jenny's job? Jenny, I guess, is a server because it says, um, then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at once so you can serve for the rest of the afternoon. So I will say that she is a server. And hostess, it's the positions she is covering uh, in the morning only. Okay, okay, teacher. Entonces sería, ajá, hostesses, hostesses. Ese es el, el puesto de Jenny, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Correct. Uh -huh. All right, so yes, thank you, thank you. Okay, give me one quick second here, all right? I will go to a different room, all right? If okay. you have questions, okay. just let me know, all right? Okay, teacher. Okay, Seria. Number two, solo sería host. Yo solo le puse host. Uh -huh. Hostes, hostes. Hostes. Okay, entonces sería uh, customer support. Is... Hello, my friends. Did you finish already? Yes, yes you finished. Yes. Great, excellent. So I was just checking your room was the last one. So we are going to close all the rooms and return to the main session so we can check the answers, okay? Okay. You. Okay, okay, so we are going to review this.
we are just waiting for everybody else to join the class again. I'm missing one person. That's it. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. So now I need a volunteer, you know, a couple of volunteers who can help me with the uh, conversation, right? So who are going to be my first volunteers? Hmm? William, sorry, it says Wilfredo and Evelyn. So, but Wilfredo, you are working with Ursula, right? Right, but no problem. I can no, it's okay. uh, do it. It's okay. You can yeah, work with yes. Ursula and then Evelyn and uh, her partner, all right? Oh, okay. Okay. Go ahead. Very oh, good. no, no, no. What happened? Yeah, <laughs> all right. Everything okay? What happened to try? I don't know. I guess. <laughs> yes. Well. Okay. Le ayudo. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, este, if you want, I'm, let's just... Okay, Daniel, help me with Ursula and then you go with Evelyn. Oh, oh yeah, go ahead. I am a Robert Ru Ruben. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, uh, let's check. No, let's switch the roles. Uh, you're going to be Jenny and, and, and Ursula's going to be Ruben. Okay. okay, no problem. Okay, let's, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the host today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminding. Reminder. Reminder. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. I truly appreciate it. So you were doing a very good job. Oops. Give me one quick second here, my thank friends. You. All right. Thank you. And all right, thank you, Ursula. Thank you, Daniel. And thank you for helping me with Ursula, right? I appreciate it. So, Evelyn, who are you be, uh, going to be working with? With Daniel. With Daniel? Okay. Okay. Ahora, yes, Daniel, you can be Ruben. Okay. Okay, Jenny. Let's check your schedule for the for today. All right. You have to start recovering for Gladys as uh, to hostess today from night at eleven a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at one one p.m. So that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until six p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. Good job. Good job. Good job. Right. Thank you and good job again, Daniel and Evelyn. All right. So next volunteers. Jill, oh Jill, hello, Ryan, how are you? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello, Good Jill. Evening. Who are you working with? <laughs> um, se dice, cansado? I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> Oh, no worries, no sí, worries. tengo ahorita un, un, una situación acá en la casa. Tengo a mi niña bien mala de la tos y nos hemos desvelado en la madrugada. Por eso es que estaba como oyente ahora, pero ya se durmió, gracias a Dios. Oh, I know. You know, I understand you. I perfectly understand you because my daughter is going exactly through the same situation. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. because of the weather. Complicated. Yeah. Right, so, but anyway... Thank you for participating, right? So, Jill, who okay. are you going to be working with? Um, Sonia. All right, Sonia. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. 10, you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. We do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. 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 Correct. <laughs> okay. Thank you, girls. You were doing also a very good job here, all right? I truly appreciate it. So let's see. Okay, excellent. Nice. So now I'm going to um I'm going to need actually three different volunteers who can help me with the activity number four. The first volunteer for question number one, then for question number two, and then for question number three, the last volunteer. All right. So uh, who's my first volunteer? For question number one. Hello? Me, teacher. Yes. Who said me? Evelyn. Yes. Okay. So tell me, Evelyn, when, when does Jenny Chief start? Jenny start, Chief start at nine a.m. At nine a.m. Yes or no, people? Yes, teacher. Yeah, that yes, is, teacher. That is correct, of course, right? Because, um, you know, she has like a double schedule, but the first one is at 9 a.m. All right, so then number two. Number two, volunteer for number two. Jenny's host hostesses. What is Jenny's job in the restaurant? Is hostess. A hostess. Hostess. All right, excellent. Mm -hmm. Everybody says that it's a hostess. Okay, excellent. So, like this one. Right? But what do you think? Everybody else? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Um, the I, answer? Go ahead, okay. Ursula. I think, I think. She is a server. Uh -huh. Why? Because uh, in the shift of night to 11 a.m., she is covering for, for Gladys. Uh -huh. And Gladys is the host. Uh -huh. But, but uh, Jenny is a uh, server. Yes, that's correct. Thank you. Thank you, Ursula. That's actually correct. So as Ursula said, uh, in the morning from 9 to 11, uh, Jenny is covering Gladys, right? And Gladys is the hostess. Then in the afternoon, um, she eats the server, okay? And so that's what happens right here, all right? So thank you, Ursula, for that one. So that was a really good observation. Thank you. All right, and the last question here, my friends, what is it? Uh -huh. What does Jenny have to do from one to six? Uh -huh. What is it? Hello? Server. As a server, thank you, Maritza. She's a server. server. From one to six, she server. has to serve. Serve the client. Serve, serve the client. Exactly. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you guys for helping me with that one. You were doing a very good job. So now let's see here, we are going to continue. Yes, with the activity number three, because this is actually different. It says right here, match the names of the staff members to the right descriptions. Okay, let's see. We're going to be working on this one right here. So let's see, let's see. Okay, this is the last activity that I'm going to be working with you tonight. All right, for this one, we are going to go back to the breakout rooms. Uh, you have to investigate what's the meaning of this ones like server, hostess, kitchen manager, cashier, 
And then you are going to be like, for example, entering here one, all right? Or then two, for example, or four, if you wanna say like that, all right? So understand? Yes? Yes. Okay, excellent. So let me just send you again to the breakout rooms so we can actually check this one. Hey, can someone take the screenshot, take the screenshot people? And confirm. Did you send it to the group? For a team? Mm -hmm. Or should I send it? Okay, no problem. I'll do it myself. Okay, so let's just go here to the breakout rooms. Oh, thank you, Maritza. The Amos Ursula, we'll have to change you to a different room because, um... oh, Wilfred is back. Hello, Wilfred. Wilfredo is this is me. Yeah, he's, he's here, but I don't know. Wilfredo, we cannot hear you. Are you active now? Well, we don't know. So I will just change it to a different room. Don't worry. Then everybody else is going to the same. Go ahead. Join the rooms. Mr. Luna, can you hear me now? I can see that you active um, activate your microphone, but I cannot hear you. No problem, so listener, that's fine. Okay, so I can wait for you, let me know. Uh-huh. Uh, este, the person has the payment in a restaurant cashier. A, a person in charge of clearance menu. A mana, mana kitchen staff uh, food standards. A, it's a Execute 
કુમાર પ્રનો જતી છે એક્ઝિક્યુટિવ શેફ ઓ સોરી આ વોઝ આઈ થોટ વોઝ નોટ મ્યુટ સો ધ વોઝ એક્ઝિક્યુટિવ શેફ એક્ઝિક્યુટિવ શેફ કરેક્ટ એ ધ નંબર નંબર 3 અને નંબર 2 to number 2 a person who hears a stop for chat put and make sure uh, everyone is training number four. Uh, number four kitchen manager mm. uh, in let's see here we're talking no. about number four number number three So it has to be like, you know, yeah. we have two possible options. Um, executive chef, it's a person who hires, um, I mean, staff purchases food and makes sure everyone is trained. And, or a person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen staff and food standards. All right. So think about this one. So a chef, the kissing guy, the chef in general. About the food, um, right? Yes. All right. And so, um, like that. Let me ask you this one. Who is the one who contracts? The chef or the manager? No, manager. Manager. Exactly. All right. I still have a question. Number two is four. Number a two is four. Is... Correct. Uh, Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Uh, uh, number three. Uh, in one. Uh, in one. Uh, 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 uh. No. No. Number three, you're saying uh, hostess, right? Ah, number three. Number three. Number three. Well, one second. I, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused. Let me share my screen here so we can see it. A wire rod, a waitress. Okay, so we say that this is number four, right? This yes. is number one. And then? Yes. Number two uh -huh. and three. Two and three. After one? Yes. Uh, is two. Two. Here. Yes. Uh-huh. Number three. Uh-huh. Very good. And the last one? uh five number five very good excellent thank you that's it that's it that's it all right that was easy right guys and yes yeah all right so let's see okay excellent so that's just basically like the whole thing here all right so well we are going to um practice the pronunciation because if you are volunteers you are going to read Okay, so practice the pronunciation. So we're gonna wait out the room and that will be all. Okay. Okay, okay thank, you. thank you. So let's see here. Hello. We finished this one. Yes, let me see. Two, one, four, two, three. Uh -huh. One, two, three. Let me tell you that the answers are correct. Yes, yes. of course, teachers. <laughs> All right, great, uh, great, great. It was, it, it was a piece of cake for of us. Of course, you know. <laughs> this was was. You know, there is another way to say a piece of cake. So you can say a piece of cake, a piece of cake. 
you can also say it's easy as a b c like that one it's easy as a b c all right it's another way to say it okay perfect so we are going to close the rooms right now so we can go back to the previous um slide and share this okay okay thank you okay. All right, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you, just waiting for everybody else to join the class and then Let's see. Okay, thank you. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining the main session again. So we are just going to finish with this activity and then you can perfectly go to rest, all right? So let's see. What is number one? Remember, to tell me the answer, you have to read the description, okay? Read the description. So number one, executive chef. Can you read it, volunteer? Edwin, go ahead. Number five, cashier. Mm, okay, this one right here. No, but I said executive chef. Which one is it? No, number five. No, I'm asking, what is, which one is executive chef? Number three. Read it, read it. Uh -huh. Leanme la descripción, es lo que le estoy preguntando. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Match the names of the staff members to the right description. That's the instruction, my friend. I said the description, all right? Les estoy preguntando que es un executive chef. A person who uh -huh. hires a staff. Hires. Hires. Uh -huh. a staff purchase food and make sure every Everyone. Everyone. Everyone is trained. Trained. All right. So you're saying right. that number one, it's this one. Okay. Very good. So agree or disagree, people? Yes, teacher. Disagree. Yes. Agree. All right. So why? Because the security chef is a person is a person in charge of creating menu, managing kitchen staff and food standards. Exactly. Remember, it's the chef. All right. So the chef creates menus, right? Making kitchen stuff and the food standards, right? So that's why it says here the chef. All right. El chef hires, it's contratar. El chef no contrata, right? So, aquí dice que compra la comida, pero el, el chef pide la comida, pero quien hace la compra es el manager. All right, so, and that's basically what happens right here. So, let's see, entonces that will be, this one is going to be number one. All right, thank you. So, then, what is number, what is the server? Uh -huh, server? Sí, chef. Mm -hmm. Uh, me, number four, a person in charge of creating menu. The server. No, number two. Yeah, this one. Es que se puso la número uno ahí. Yeah, because uh, that's the correct answer. Yeah, you know server. Uh -huh. Server. 
a waiter or waitress who attend customer with food and drink. Thank you very much. That is actually correct. So this is the server, all right? There you go, excellent. So remember guys, eh, la instruction fue la siguiente. Yo les leo estos, número uno, executive chef, número two, server, number three, hostess, number four, kitchen. Y usted me lee la description que considera que tiene la, la correct match ahí, all right? So veamos, what is hostess? Teacher. Yes. The number two is not there, it's above. Oh, thank you. All right, thank you, thank you. You're right. Uh -huh. What about the hostess, people? Host or hostess? Remember that the host is going to be like, um, like, you know, like the person who is at the entrance receiving the, uh, the guest, all right? So what is it? A person who greets. Arriving. Arriving yeah. guest. Exactly, right? So it's going to be here, number three. Excellent. Number four. Last five, teacher. Last five. Cashier. Right. Number four. Yeah, that's the thing. Gonna five. <laughs> right? So. Es que le había entendido la primera vez y que le empezaba a la primera All right. What is good chain manager? A person who hires staff, purchases food, and makes sure everyone is trained. Is trained, all right, excellent. But ahora sí, el cashier, what is it? <laughs> the person handling payment in the in a restaurant. Handling payment in a restaurant, exactly, right? So number five. <laughs> thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so, well, so. Era correcta su respuesta, my friend. Your answer was correct, all right? So, aquí va al final. Okay. <laughs> so, no problem. Thank you, everybody, for participating in the activities tonight, all right? So, uh, do you have any questions before I let you go? Yes, teacher. En la, en la sala nos dijo que era al revés, la cuatro y la uno. Excuse me? En las salas nos dijo mm -hmm. que era al revés. La cuatro y la uno. The kitchen manager and executive chef. No, it's not possible. I'll tell you what happens right here. I don't know, maybe uh, we got confused on that one, but what happens is this one, all right? So, eh, explico why, all right? So, the manager here is el gerente general, all right? Entonces, aquí, it's just like el que contrata, it's this one, all right? Y, eh, compra la comida. Aquí puede haber sido la confusión, porque compra la comida, pero no es que eh, él diseña qué es lo que se va a preparar, which is going to be prepared. Él solamente compra lo que el chef le dice que necesita. ¿Understand? Entonces, él hace la compra. All right, so, él, el chef no va a andar entrenando. All right, so, él solamente dirige la cocina. Por so, eso es que el chef sería entonces this one. A person in charge of creating menus. Al chef le toca crear menús. Right, administrar el personal de la cocina. Y los estándares de la comida. All right. So that's the reason why. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we got confused in the, in the, in the room. Right. So, but yeah, that's the reason why. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. That's, that's why. All right. So questions? No questions. No, no questions. No questions. And you're like, no, no questions. Let's go to sleep. All right. So. <laughs> No problem, guys. It's time for you to go to sleep. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Take good care. Night, everyone. Good, good night. night. Good night.